today we are making quince jam. Step one is to wash the fruit and remove all the fuzzy stuff. Then you cut it, removing the core. We want to take the quince pieces into the food processor, but before we do that, I like to remove the skin through the grater because it just doesn't work very well in the food processor. I will not um, waste the skin, it will go into the jam, just that I want to remove it before I put the piece into the food processor. This one, this one is now ready, right there. And we do all of them. Doesn't have to be pretty, just remove the big chunks of the skin so that it's not as rough and it doesn't pile on in chunks. to do this a few more times. We're also going to add some uh, lemon zest. Now um, I will also put some uh, lemon juice here now which will slow down this process of the fruit turning red. I'll keep adding some juice as I add more uh, product there um, ready for cooking now that's a lot of uh, quince and you can see it's almost over the um, over the edge of the pot but that's fine I will put some water here two cups of water if you look at the recipes they all ask for a lot more water than this um, I've tried that and I found it that it makes it all it makes a gem too watery that that's, that's why I put just a little bit of uh, water, just enough for it to go to the bottom and uh, create some steam for boiling this, uh, this stuff. And I will boil this for about, um, you know, an hour or more. Again, you will find recipes that say boil it for 20 minutes or so. That's fine, but I think the more you boil it, the better it is. Um, you can, you, you will, uh, I will add uh, pectin, but quince will have its own pectin which is released if you boil it a little longer. I'll um, talk to you soon about the sugar. Looking good. You can see there's a lot of water so we need to get rid of some of that water. And that's why the lid is off. And I've added the sugar. I have to stir it in now. I think I would have wanted to put a little bit more sugar than that. Unfortunately, I had too much quince, so don't make that mistake. Leave enough room in your pot for, you know, two thirds of quince, one third of sugar. Uh, I might be able to add some more sugar later on to uh, come closer to the uh, recommended recipe. Otherwise, it will just be a, an extra fruity, low sugar jam. But still, still very good, I'm sure. So about half an hour or so cooking with sugar, then we add some pectin, I've already added one bag, I'll add one more, and then 10 minutes later it will be ready for um, putting it into cans. I mean not into cans, you put it into jars, obviously, it's jam. Wow. 
while I do that, I'll put the lid in so that it gets sterilized as well. And that's it. After I eat it tomorrow, I'll tell you if it was good. I got a, quite a few jars this time. Pretty good.